Yo people, I'm Sean from the Net Ninja and this is HTML Basics Lesson 4, your first web page. Alright, so you might want to take a deep breath at this point because you need to prepare. You're going to create your very first web page and by the end of this you're going to basically be a HTML wizard. No joke. Alright, first things first though. In the last lesson we talked about tags and we said that pretty much everything in a HTML document is controlled by these tags. And we've got different tags. We've got tags for text, tags for images, tags for headings, you know, the list goes on and on. And basically whatever you want to show to the user, you've got a tag for it. And a HTML document or a web page is just a series of these tags built up on each other and nested within each other. So that's where you're up to at the minute. So we're going to take it one step further now. We're going to dive in and we're going to create a web page from scratch. Okay, so... For the rest of this course, I'm going to be using a text editor called Brackets, and it's a free one, so you can download that too. I'll put the link in the video description. Uh, I'll just show you the website now where you can download it. All right, so here we are, brackets.io with the Brackets website, and this is where you want to go to download the Brackets interface. Now, it's an awesome text editor. It's free, and it's color coordinated, so you know what everything is. And it's got this cool feature called IntelliSense, which is basically like code hints. If you forget how to do something, Brackets is there to help you out. All right, so what you want to do is click this big download button in the middle, and you can do this for Windows and Mac. So we'll do that. I've already downloaded it. Um, it should take you to another page. No, it downloads it automatically. Great. I've got it twice now. You just need it once. So once you've downloaded that, uh, just run through the installation and I'll see you on the other side in brackets. Right, here we are in brackets. I've opened it up for the first time. We've got no files here whatsoever. So what we want to do is create our first HTML document. And to do that, what we want to do is go to File and New. And you're going to get this little thing here, Untitled 5, mine says. That's because I've done it four times already and this is my fifth time of taking. Hopefully it's just going to say Untitled 1 for you. So I'm going to uh, save this straight away. Go to File, Save As, and we want to call it index.html. And we're using index because it's the first page. The index makes sense, right? And we're giving it the extension .html. That's really, really important. Every time you create a HTML document, you want to save it .html. All right, if you don't save it as that, then the browser is going to be like, well, I don't know what this is. What do you want me to do with this? Is it HTML? Is it a Word doc? You know, save it as HTML every time. And the next thing you want to make sure is that it's all files here as the file type, and then you click save. And there we go, we've got this little index HTML in the sidebar. So let's get cracking. Now, the first thing we want to do at the top of every HTML page is put the doc type tag. And the doc type is one of those things that you're just going to have to get used to putting in the top of your documents, all right? When I first started, I was like, what the hell is this? You know, they were so convoluted back in the day. They had loads of different doc types, but it's really simplified these days. And basically what a doc type does is it just says to the browser, hey, I'm HTML. This is the type of my document. I want you to render me as HTML. All right, so you need to make sure you put this at the top of every HTML document. And it's dead, dead simple. You want to open it like any other tag you would do. And you put a exclamation mark first of all, doc type, HTML, simple. That's all you need to do. Right, next thing. So I'm going to quote another author when I go through this. And I'm going to quote James Williamson. And he says that a HTML document is very much like a sandwich. And that is an awesome analogy. A sandwich has got two pieces of bread and a HTML uh, document needs two pieces of bread or rather two tags to open it and close it and these pieces of bread are HTML tags and would you look at that that's another cool feature of brackets you open a tag it closes it for you brilliant all right so HTML they're your pieces of bread everything in your sandwich or everything in your web page goes between these two tags all right now then your first tag that should go at the top is pretty much always a head tag and you want to think of the head tag as like the uh, 
the relish or that the mayonnaise that goes on your sandwich. It's not the big meaty content, but it's the things that make it taste nicer. And it's the same for a web page. It's the things that tell a browser, look, um, I've got this extra information about this web page. I don't want you to show it to the user, but I'm telling you, look, this is about my web page. So it's the little extras. All right. And some things that go in the head are some meta tags and they tell, you know, search engines like Google your keywords. So say you've got a fish website, you want to sell fish. And I want to put in my, I want to tell Google, look, if people search for these keywords, if people search for salmon or trout, I want them to come to my website. So what you want to do is you want to put a meta tag in here, in this head part, and you put your keywords in there. Other things we can put in are the meta car set, and we're going to do that now. And basically what this says is, I'm using the UTF-8 character set on my document. And that's pretty much a standard. You don't need to know much about it. I certainly don't. If you want to read about it, you're more than welcome to. There's plenty of articles out there. Um, and would you notice about this tag? It's got a little a slash inside it. And that's because it doesn't have a closing tag. It's a self-contained tag. I talked about them briefly and I think the first uh, video tutorial in this course. Whereas a head has got two tags, opening and closing, and we've got the forward slash in the second tag, the closing tag. This one doesn't have a closing tag. So we put the slash just before we close the self-contained tag. And that's pretty... Um, you know, you do that with every self-contained tag. So, what else goes in the head? We can put things like CSS references. We can put things like JavaScript references. I'm going to talk about the head in the next movie. And I'm going to talk about JavaScript and CSS in separate tutorials also. For now, we're just going to put another tag in there called the title. And the title tag is the thing when you open a web page and at the top of the tab, you see the website title. That's what this is. So, let's just call this my first web page all right so we've done the head for now what's next we want the body not the bod my mistake don't know what the hell a bod tag is we want the body and the body is like the meat of the sandwich the roast pork the corn if you're vegetarian whatever's on your sandwich this is in the body whatever's on your web page that you want your users to see this is in the body anything goes all right so what are we going to put in it we're going to put in a title and we'll call this my first web page and then i think we'll put a paragraph tag in as well and we'll say yo kids in fact no we won't because that sounds a little strange we'll put yo guys hope you like my website we sell fish and there we go we've done it that is your first website you've got your HTML doc type tag at the top you've got your HTML opening tag and closing tag surrounding the entirety of the HTML document that's your bread you've got your head with all your mayonnaise and everything that you're telling the browser is about your document and then you've got your body you've got your meat of the HTML page your actual content that you want your user to see and that is the HTML document. Simple as that. I mean, it can get a lot more complex and we're going to certainly pad this out as the course goes on. But for now, let's just save this. And we're going to view it in a browser. Another cool thing about brackets, you want to right click. By the way, I just click Control S uh, to save the document. Um, if you right click this index file here and you say show in Explorer, it's going to pop up the Windows Explorer with your index file in it. You just want to double click this. And because it's a HTML file, it had that .html extension on it, it's opened up in a browser. And there we go, guys. We've got our first web page. And if you've been following along with me, congratulations. You want to give yourself a pat on the back because that is your very first web page. All right. So uh, just to recap, we've gone through the doc type. We've gone through the opening HTML tags, the head tags, and the body tags. So we're going to flesh this out a little bit more as we go on. And in the next lesson, we're going to look at the head tag. I'll see you guys then.